that's literally straight down. No joke. It's at 85 degrees. Looking good, man. Yeah. This trail doesn't have any turns. Just straight up. It's not maintained, so. Oh God. Break a leg. Good God, man. Pieces of someone's shoe. <laughs> yeah. Good man, soft too. Great. Last night I was like, I'm not that tired. I don't know if I can fall asleep right away. And then fell asleep in like 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I had a pretty weird night. I, I sweated like crazy sweated. Really? Not, and like, not because I was really hot or anything. I just the, the rab -do? felt like my body was like, Banish you toxins, be rid of you, or something. <laughs> yeah, the insta coffee just never cuts it, quite cuts it. Hello, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, yesterday was one of the toughest hikes I've ever been on, easily top three. So, we uh, it took us quite a while to get up here to the lake, and by the time we got up here, we were pretty wiped out. Uh, we just kind of chilled, did a little fishing and not really any filming once we got up here and got to bed early and now it is day number two. Hashtag worth it, huh? Look at those views. Pretty badass spot. But it's about 7 a.m. Um, here's what we're going to do. There's a series of three lakes here, so we're going to hop over to the middle lake. It's the medium-sized lake and we are going to... Uh, get the shadow out of my face we are going to fish all day we're gonna fish hard today we're gonna catch fish cook fish do fishing do everything fish today look at some views Justin's over there getting ready so I'm gonna get packed up and uh, we're gonna go fishing all right guys we made it over to the middle lake and uh, we're gonna head out this is a spit that heads out into the middle of the lake here so we're gonna head out there, but we gotta tromp through all this first. Hey you guys, so obviously we made it out here to the end of the spit. This lake is super awesome. I'll try and show you guys, but there's boulders sticking up everywhere. It's just really craggy with rocks. It's just a really unique, awesome, beautiful lake. Um, but it is only uh, like mid to the end of June right now and we're in a record-breaking heat wave. So it's supposed to be up in the 90s and we're around, I think 3,800 or 4,000 feet right now. So yeah, you're gonna see me, you're gonna see me covered up most of the day. But like I said, we're down on this spit. We've already seen some, uh, some real big honking fish down through the water. Now we just gotta figure out what they're biting on. So as usual, 
I'm using my favorite trout rod, which is the Fenwick HMX. This is a five foot six. Uh, it's graphite and very lightweight for backpacking. I also have my Daiwa Fuego size 1000 reel, also very light for backpacking. And then I have six pound braided line on there. And to try and figure out what these guys are biting on, I'm starting off with one of my favorite spinners, the Panther Martin rainbow trout color number nine. So let's get this in the water and see if we can't catch some breakfast. Cause we packed up a lot of good food and we want to eat it so we don't have to pack it out. Let's go, let's go fishing. Come on fishes. We do ninja fish. All right. Don't make, don't make voices. I think that's not PC. Okay, let's catch some of these fish. All right, let's catch some of these fish and then I just fuck everything up. Okay, fish. All right, I gave that spinner like 20 minutes. Nothing on there. Let's try a little Clio, one third ounce. Gotta figure these fish out. Come on fish, don't make me have a bowl of cereal. Well, nothing on the, uh, nothing on the little Clio, so I'm going to try a beetle spin. Let's give this a shot. We're getting hungry, so we got, we got to figure these fish out. All right, y'all. We've been here like an hour and a half, two hours fishing. We haven't caught shit. So. We're just gonna jump in the water. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't wanna. I'm waiting on you, dude. I already jumped in, it's freezing. <laughs> there's ice in it over there. Oh my god. Yeah, there's snow like right into the lake. Okay. One, two, three. <coughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Okay, that was enough. <laughs> Woo! Well, if you did it a second time, that's pre pretty much I have to. Yeah! Oh. Oh man. All right, we've been out on the spit for a couple hours. We haven't been able to catch a fish at all. So let's see if we can turn this camera around and maybe we can just find one underwater with the camera since we can't actually catch one. Let's jump in again. It's going to be cold. Well, we got skunked down at that lower lake, so we came back up to the main lake where we're camped at, and we're gonna try and fish this small cove here and see if we can't catch something for lunch. All right, I've already seen a few uh, swimming around down in the water there. I'm gonna see if I can't sight fish them using this Carolina rig. Movement, movement, come on. There it is, get it. Get it, get it. Oh, come on, you were gonna bite it, dude. Bite it. Oh. oh, he's like 20 feet away now. This close. Oh. Be fighting yeah, what are they doing? Is it amazing? Maybe that's why they don't want to eat nothing. Too busy trying to get it on. What the f what the f is happening? <laughs> The littlest one tried to get it. Oh, the other, the big one's coming back. It's like a straight up school of nice fish. They're all looking at it. Dude, what is happening? Oh, shit. <laughs> you, just, you just line drive it at them. <laughs> Yeah, I feel so confused right now as to 
how nothing works to catch these fish. All right, they're swimming towards it. One's gonna bite it, one's gonna bite, oh! Last minute, he changed his mind. Yes, yes, finally. Nice. Oh, bobber. Oh, you found a bobber? Fuck yeah, double score. Wow. Damn, look at this guy. That's a nice looking fish. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Holy sheep shit. So we have uh, officially been fishing all day. What's, I think it's about two o'clock right now. And uh, Justin has caught one, I have caught none. Um, so it turns out the only way that we can catch these fish is with a Carolina rig. And so last night we caught two with a Carolina rig that we just left and then we just hung out and then oops we got a fish and then today the only way we could catch fish was with a carolina rig and it was like if you if you tossed it right in front of them and then bounced it in their face um yeah we've tried everything spoons spinners bobbers power baits I'm about to move on to handguns <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> If we had a crossbow, we'd probably resort to that option. So Justin had a fish and then, uh, so the, the stringer broke and it got away. So all we have right now is, is two <laughs> fish. We have two fish that two are like, <laughs> that are like 22 hours old. Uh, everything that can go wrong, uh, is going wrong. So we've decided to just hang out and drink some whiskey. Anyway, we're gonna take those 22 hour old fish and cook us up an omelet. See you guys in a minute. All right, finally caught a fish on accident. Yay! I'll probably never catch another one again. Oh, oh, got one, got one. Oh my God. No, oh, we got off. No. Why, baby Jesus? Why? Oh, why, God? Why? Well, we had a couple fish. <laughs> we had a couple fish. We <laughs> we threw in some uh, Louisiana oh fish batter stuff. We're gonna fry them up in this hot ass oil. Got the rest of this fish done here. Look at these golden brown fried delicious bits. Ah, da -da -da -da. And somewhere in here is a whole fish tail that we're gonna eat. I'm trying to get it a little bit crispy. I'm gonna leave it in there a little bit longer, but. And it's just big old chunks of rainbow trout. Here is the fishtail. It got all crinkly. Check that out. <laughs> that used to be a nice wide fishtail. It really shrank up, but we'll see. Yeah, that'll get crispy. All right, guys. Deep fried Louisiana battered trout bones. Spine comes right out, and then the rest of it goes right in. <laughs> then it choked to death. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty good. Oh God, we gotta get up. <laughs> There's the alarm. I would probably add a little bit of salt if I were to do it again before I put the uh, trout in the batter. But yeah, really good. Give it a shot. Try not to choke. <laughs> yeah, no joke. <laughs> Does this thing work? Just on? What does red beeping mean? What does this red button mean? So we're going to split that tail. Hopefully it's uh, nice and crispy. There she be. We'll break it like a wishbone. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Ah. Oh, that was him. <laughs> oh, man. I guess he gets to make a wish. Um, but here's the uh, deep fried trout tail. You get half the tail. Cheers. Thanks, man. Cheers. Trout tail, cheers. Nice. Slipped right off. Slipped right off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually better than I thought it would be. It was really crispy. Note to self, always deep fry the tails. Kind of sriracha. Yeah. Kind of tasted like a um like it's a shrimp chips. tail. It's just a, eat the end of a shrimp. Good Sounds pretty good. Look at all this. Hike out now. And go to the bar. I can be convinced. <laughs> you know how long it would take me to hike out right now? It'd be like 12 hours. <laughs> Well, we're uh, we're all packed up. We got our backpacks back on. Uh, we decided to take off on the third day instead of the fourth day. I think I said this somewhere earlier in the video, but there's a record-breaking heat wave, and tomorrow is supposed to be 106 degrees. So, uh, due to the uh, difficulty of catching fish and the not wanting to hike out of this uh, death march hike um, in in like a in Death Valley temperatures. Uh, we decided to take off early. So it's about 7 a.m. here on day three. We're actually gonna stop at the very first lake you come to and we're just gonna fish for a minute, fill up our waters, and uh, we'll catch you guys over there. <laughs> if we don't die first. Are you dead? There's the lake right behind us. There's a, there's J Dog. Um, so we made it obviously to the first lake, but there are people camped at both the spots we were gonna stop and fish. Surprisingly, didn't really think we were gonna see any other people out here. So we are not going to fish. We only got to fish two of the three lakes, but we'll be back up here at some point to uh, to finish the trilogy. Anyway, we got a super gnarly hike out of here. We're not looking forward to it. Our knees aren't looking forward to it. So we're gonna call it from here. It's gonna be no more filming. Thanks for watching you guys. This has been a super fun adventure. And uh, we'll see if uh, me and J-Dog can get out of here without uh, needing hip and knee replacements. <laughs> or a helicopter. <laughs> Peace out, you guys.